What? <laughs> she throwing telepathic hadoukens at the she, 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 you know, doing a good job. Break the man's foot. Yo, what's going on you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. Here are my lovely wife Jenny Lee on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions, the place where we react to everything we've never seen. And if you've read by the title, you know it's time to react to some more TMNT 2012. Yeah, uh great episode last time man just loving the arc overall and the development for all these different characters man because it was all about learning to overcome our fears you know what i'm saying yeah in the episode titled vision quest where it was almost like a role-playing game except it felt very real because they got a chance to fight all their different enemies and stuff like that one-on-one -on -one, mono a mono you know what I'm saying? I forgot who Mike had to fight. Who he had to fight? Chris Bradford or Razor? Mm -hmm. And um, Raph, who did he fight again? Uh, Zever. Fish. Yeah, Zever, Leo yeah, Falk. Of course, Leo had to fight. Um, Shredder. Uh, I was and who about did... to say Shelter. The Shelter. The Shelter. And Dunny fought somebody too, didn't he? Um, the cat. Yeah, the, the cat. Uh, Tiger Claw. Yeah, I love that, man. All of them was dressed up to perfection with their white on, looking like they about to do a, a boy band tour and stuff. You always lean over to the side. It ain't gonna kill them. No, nah, they, they, you know how people is. Why is she leaning over to the side? He could be saying something important. We ain't saying like she ain't got important. ears and stuff. But, uh, no. Nah. Yeah, man. I don't know why. It's like everything just been kind of weird today, y'all. Johnny got the AC blast and stuff. You the know AC ain't even on right now. Over here. Go up turn in the, the AC off. The yeah. cold air while she got on MMA booty shorts like it ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, I come prepared as always. I have to switch over to my alternative gear. Switch know? over to It's like an alternate costume. I press triangle on y'all bitches. But, yeah, man, I'm just ready to get into this next episode because <laughs> we going back to where to it all New began. York. To New York. You know what I'm saying? Some place I would never think I would like to go. Right, but we going. We are. Oh no, <laughs> I was talking about this. Are we going there? Yeah, but this is episode nine. Return to New York, y'all. So uh, let's do this. Return to New York. Return on, to New kitty. York. We're going home. Surprise, ice cream I love kitty. Arrivederci, Doctor Cluckingsworth. Arrivederci. Hey. That is a valuable oh, asset. Sick. Man, shout out to my nigga, Dr. Cluckensworth. Hello, New York City! <laughs> oh, I thought they ran out of gas for a second. I was like, what? Good luck! Don't forget the cluck! The fuck? The spotlight on us already? Border Patrol? Flashlight! Oh, Boy, Mikey is the type of person you gotta knock their ass out. Citizen, this is EPF Quarantine Sector 7B. Hold down your window. Man, it's gotta be a crane in disguise. He got the little tray. He got a little purple gun. Right you see the thing on the back of his neck, though. Yeah. Whatever you say, Army dude. Hey, Captain. Hey, Captain. Hey, Captain. Like, they the brain suckers. Sit down, Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> well, excessive force required, baby. Let's go. Oh, nice. See, that kind of looks like the one we saw in that Batman vs. TMNT. Hey, man, you got any brains behind that hockey mask? No. I had no choice, Rap. They were powering up their blasters. Um, guys? Wow. You, know, you, you think the crane mutated everyone? Yeah. No way. Not possible. It's completely possible. I only sense a few hundred people left in the entire city. Damn, a They're few hundred? Gone. Millions of people just gone. One good thing, we haven't run into any crane. Hey, we oh, got the right no. ones. <laughs> Soda cannons. Hey, Mentos, the fresh maker. Ah, that's cool. 
Wow, y'all done just took over our crib like it ain't nothing. At the Bowsers and everything. Nigga. God damn. April, you think you can use your powers to track Splitter? You did it before. I can try, but... You said his mind is no longer one with his body, right? Which means he could be crazy or unconscious or who knows what. Yeah, we still need to find him. Ooh, what about the lair? Wow. It's all destroyed. We got to relocate. We got to get a new arcade machine. I really want to know how they're going to come back from this. Mikey, you stay here. It didn't happen before. Mikey, God damn. Fuck, they got scanners? Yeah, they definitely have to relocate, man. They can't be down here no more. Ooh! Shit! Alright, this can reload, man. You can go ahead and. <laughs> Why do you have to do the rat like that? What the rat do to him? Never or not have been like a premonition of what could happen to Splinter. The Krang have some kind of freaky security system to make sure we don't come back. Why not just go take it down and move back in? I miss our home. I miss my comic books, my VHS tapes, my action kick unicorn man, my collection of human underwear. It's not that simple, Mikey. We can't just move back. Uh, guys, I, I think... <laughs> The I fuck? Think I close by. Was that Splinter without a shirt? And, and he seems oh no, Splinter! He was looking crazy. Come on, hurry. He's looking like a magazine model, rat edition. Okay, he is shirtless, but he seems more feral though. Yeah. Oh, Sensei, you gotta do us like that. You would attack Casey. Get him off of me! Get him off of me! It's okay, Sensei. You shot. Where's the Velveeta when you need it, man? Y'all can't hold him back. Jesus. So they like to push his spirit that was in meditative state back into his body or some shit. The Splinter, he on one. Oh no! Fuck! Get ready, team! Don't let them harm Splinter! Wait a minute, it's what did he just have on drawers? Yeah, that's all he got on is some fucking drawers. Why did he get on drawers? With like bandages, like classic samurai underwear. <laughs> got on them cheese of balloons, man. Ain't that how y'all seen him last time? Yeah. What? You cannot be. <laughs> well, I'm finna show out like I just got the DNA test results back in Mori. That ain't my son. Lost his mind. Become the rat I always knew he was. Shall I put him out of his misery, Master? No. Take him to Baxter Stock. I want him fully aware of who and where he is before I finish him off. Yeah, hey, can you be Splinter more so petty? Stupid. You're not Splinter Shredder. I was just gonna say. Hey. <laughs> that was like a 20 hit combo, except I couldn't see it. Like a turtle do. Pat yourself on the back later. Let's move. How you gonna steal Mikey's shit? Right, he don't what? never say that. Right. It's Shredder. I ain't no down shredder, that's fucking. <laughs> that thing mode. probably gonna start showing out. What the heck is that supposed to be? Kid Maybe mode. Shredder? <laughs> it's kinda cute. 
like a shrimp. Mm. Damn. Ooh. Uh, oh. Come on, come on, take the cheese. Come on. <laughs> you bitch ass nigga. Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna squash that bug. Sensei. Red Sensei. show do we doing that? Mm. Quick, get him out of there! I hate seeing Splinter like this. It's okay. It's okay. There's gotta be a way to reach him. Right. Remember the time you reached the guys through their dreams? What if you could, like, uh, do the same thing for Splinter? You, you know, mind meld and stuff. Mind meld. Based on my research on telepathy, it might be possible. Yes! yes. Get this nigga out of here, bro. Here? You're all destroyed! Look out! April, Prime Blitz, Blitter up! Don't know you don't! Hold on to that nigga, man! <laughs> yeah, take that. Jump his ass. The hell is that? Oh wow! So he was creating. I figured. Yeah, it's like different versions of Shredder, like Super Shredders or something. Do you like my Shredder mutants? Like Goro or something. That's how you know you stink. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to defeat these niggas. Maybe when they get you some goddamn scissors. That nigga better get some damn crab That's open this. Crab legs. Well, shit, you know I need scissors on some crab. Oh. You the one who told me that. Yeah. This guy's like fighting a four-armed dump truck. I'll steal you, little. <laughs> little nugget. <laughs> I just love that they have Mikey <laughs> running away from him. Come on, Master Splinter. Come on. Bitch. I got this red. Master Splinter. Oh. Hell, you got about 10 kids, man. You trying to escape from child support? Master Splinter. Oh, oh shit! Get him! They come out there doing anti-air combos. Oh shit! Hell yeah, shit! Splitting all them weak spots. Shit! <laughs> Mr. Krause was gonna turn him apart. He was. Damn! Fuck! <laughs> Damn! They have a crab legs tonight. My son. We got the garlic butter, kids. <laughs> the tonight. Cajun season. How I have missed you, my sons, and the rest of my family. Just please don't try and eat my face anymore. So, a turtle's limb. Ugh! Look at them all. And the rat thinks like a man again. Now you will know when my play is. Ugh, I, I see you're a Steve you. Harvey fan. Wait, Sensei. Yes, now is not the time to fight. And that's why I'm dressed up like Heiachi from Tekken 4. I need to get right. my clothes back, man. I don't know why they used to scare me so bad. Why are you scoring this man thong and sandals? There is no escape. <laughs> that show is how a cat would do. Yeah. <laughs> the, way he, the way his body just contorted when he hit the damn. Oh man, okay. Yeah, by the skin of our shells. 
So where to now? <laughs> we have no home to go back to. Homes are transitory. What matters is that we are together. We still need a place to hang our masks, Sensei. Where are we going to live? Well, there's the old power plant, or maybe an abandoned subway tunnel. Wait, I have the greatest idea ever! Do we really want to hear this? It's <laughs> secret, fortified, and no one would ever think to look for us there! Where? Oh, wow, really? Bro, this is where you wanted to go, though. I mean, I think people would think to look for you there. I would. That'd be the first place I'd think to look for some damn perfect, Ninja Turtle right? head. I wouldn't exactly say perfect. It was, sir. Uh, it's a pizza place. Well, next up, uh, take the city back. And find my dad. He's out there. Somewhere. Yeah. It's like he's right here. Right next door. Oh, it's just in the other dimension, though. Yeah. But guys, that was episode 9 titled Return to New York. What a return that was. It wasn't necessarily a triumphant one because shit, Crane just got everything on lock. You know what I'm saying? They got the sponsorships, all of it. And Shredder, he's just at the center of it all, you know, which kind of begs the question. Does he really have the crane under his little claws or fingertips? No, the crane got him under they damn whatever they got, squid billy tentacles. Right, because unlike fucking Shredder, the crane, they ain't got no personal like endeavors and stuff like that or like revenge that's fueling them. They trying to Right, they, that's the thing. They all they have is their personal endeavors that they're trying to achieve. Yeah, yeah, that's what um, I mean. To take over the world. Right. Strider has this vendetta against Splinter and that's all he can see. That's all he really care about. And then secondary he's like, okay, we'll take over the city. But first and foremost, I wanna kill Splinter. I wanna make him squirm. I want him to be conscious enough I to see everything to that I did to him. And that don't make sense. Yes, make him conscious again so that he could possibly have the ability to escape once again. But instead of just finishing him off, that was your real... That's how you know revenge is strictly what he wants. He wants him to feel his wrath, his fury. So, yeah. you know. Anyway, now that I'm going to this abandoned pizza place, which, I, like I said, I just don't think that's a good idea because... Yeah, I was thinking like another underground layer that extends like lower at the bottom of the sewer because that's kind of how it was up in the live-action movies when they place got ransacked and stuff. I was but, thinking maybe... I don't know. Some sort of abandoned place, but shit, everywhere is abandoned every, now. Yeah, every place is vacant. So, so I don't even not, know like what would be the best place for them to go. It's like if, if the crane understand now that they've been dwelling under the sewers, then that's what they would expect. So it's mm -hmm. kind of like they're playing reverse mind psychology with them. So yeah. Overall, I'll give that episode an S because like it feels like the season finale, but you know, because like uh, everything is just high stakes now. Mm -hmm. You know, the ball isn't in their court. They have to be on their P's and Q's because the crane are literally everywhere. They taking over. So, yeah, man, I'm definitely giving this an S. What about you? I'll give it an A. I probably want to give it an A+. Plus. Yeah, I'll give it an A+. Plus. So there you have it, guys. An S and an A+. Plus. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and keep it moving with episode 10 titled Serpent Hunt. So, hey, man, like we're going to be chasing out the corral in this one. So let's do it. Oh wow, this nigga's still around. Months since aliens invasions. There must be way out of the city. Why not use one of your fancy tanks to get us out? Big ass? <laughs> How you many say times I ass? tell you? Show models only. I give them big discount. Uh, uh, I'm starving. All our food is going down the moldy ketchup for dead cockroaches. <laughs> He's not gonna eat that. Secret headquarters mine. Multi ketchup cockroaches mine. Nigga. I guess that's really all they got. That's cold blooded. We gotta get out of this city, y'all. We gotta get out of this city. <laughs> <laughs> gotta love this <laughs> No way out, comrade Zek. When henchmen try to make out of city, they all get mutate. Ivan Steranko never turn into freak. That's all time. I'm gonna make it past a million alien robots. My invisibility field is totally jacked. I'm jacked. Fuck. 
Shh. It's dangerous. But Shredder, only one who can get us out of city. The deal. Is that correct? We find his daughter, mm. Kalai. Oh, shit. Mm. She was mutated by same stuff that make turtle freaks. Shredder has looked for her ever since. So just saying, we can use her as a bargaining chip with Shredder to get out of the city. Ah, Rokosaki will have no choice. <laughs> Both of they laugh together is something else. It is. How's the new lab setup? Uh, kind of makeshift. I'm brewing a batch of retro mutagen I started back at the farmhouse. Takes forever. And then we can mutate my dad back? Baby, we got so many other people we could be worried about. This time? Well, that's the plan. And everyone else who got mutated, including Karai. Did I? Oh yeah, he's amazing. I got one word for you. Score! Hey! You did it? You managed to sneak back into the lair? Yo, Don, check it out. Got you some sweet chemicals. Oh wow! Oh, wow, they built oh, an God. underground tunnel to it? Even That's though cool. the Krang were mad dogging us the whole time, we didn't forget Mikey's big request. This comics. The fuck is that? Oh, a TV? TV? Really? A 1955 <laughs> TV, but a TV. I mean, y'all can literally just try to loot a TV. Will never be complete without my daughter. The longer she's out there that. alone, the more she risks losing her humanity. We can help her. We just have to keep looking. So I guess that's what happened to Splinter. No, I he saw her only so a few long. days ago. He lost his humanity. humanity. Yeah. That was not in my right mind. And his clothes. I could not help her. I think we can find her. I've been updating all of my surveillance tech, and I'm just a few days off from finishing more retro mutagen. I kind of like this little Let's pizza layer. This. Sorry, April. You and Casey have to stay here. Ninjas only. We've looked everywhere, Master. You will find her, or I will turn you both over to Tiger Claw. He is bored of having little sport. <laughs> Yes, Master. No problem. Oh, really? I think Razar could beat up Tiger Claw. I think both of them could if they teamed up. You know how they is. Uh, they stupid. <laughs> All right, team. This is the last place Master Splinter saw Karai. You getting any readings, Donnie? Picking up trace amounts of mutagenized DNA. Scanning now. Oh, snap. Check it out. Potato chips. I was just going to say that like Lay's or something. Mm. Kind of stale, but not bad. This dude. Do I detect sour cream and chives? <laughs> Actually, those are snake scales. Karai must be shedding. Uh, All right, guys. You've been eating Follow Karai. the DNA trail. Probably got him off her booty. <laughs> the hell? That's what he deserved. That's what he don't ever pay attention. He don't. Don't this thing, don't this dude look this like his actor? Yeah, Yes, I think that was the point, though. Yeah. I am better hunter than my brother, Boltak. Stop messing with that butt nasty skin. What you want is right down there, son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mother Russian. <laughs> you mother Russian, oh, mother man, not this freaks again. Freaks. Nice outfit. Nineteen eighty-seven called. It wants its jumpsuit back. Yeah. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. You made your brother my son. I will bust you in your uh oh! Get <laughs> it? Yeah, fuck heal the world. I don't want to destroy the world. Shit. Um, no, I don't think Karai understands. <laughs> Why is he making those noises? He's just trying to distract us. Maybe that's how he lets out his voice commands or something. I really do wish Mikey would get better with his nunchucks. I know, right? Oh shit, he hit the lead! He did that. Hell yeah. This episode gets an S just for him doing that. Right. I think it went straight anime or oh. Mother Russia! For real. Flash grenade. Ah, he's perfect. Oh. 
Ivan, not happy. We had that stick in the can, man! Come, the game has not ended yet. Oh no. Where's Mikey? God damn it. I'm right here. Oh wow. You guys are so slow. <laughs> She's this way. There. And was she on a period or something? She leaving all kinds of slithery slime right, let's and shit. Let's split up and I don't think snakes have periods. I could. Be Karai, right. This is a hybrid here? though. It's us. Are you all right? She might. Karai, come out. Where are Karai, you? girl, I'm here to take We're you. We're not gonna hurt you, Karai. Me. We want to help. Like if she could transform back like that. <sighs> God damn it. Oh, wait, another crane droid party. Take them down before they alert more. <laughs> There you go. Hell yeah. Ooh. Karai, remember us. That shit about probably what's the face because she ain't helped. You are. You want to snake like by the hour. Ah. She doesn't understand, Leo. She understands, Donnie. You're changing, Karai. We want to help you. Yeah, she was becoming a woman. You're thinking about boys now. Leo. <laughs> that was a cool transition. Come back with us, Karai. No. Too dangerous. I told you I smell turtles. <laughs> Looks like they've made our job a whole lot easier. Damn. Uh, Split. That's how you know Shredder ain't shit. He can't be shit if you can't never remember his name. He ain't. Come on, we gotta move. He would do that to his own daughter. Oh hey. shit! I like that. Look how Leo was looking like. I planted a whole bunch of spy roaches on Starango oh, during the nice. fight. I'm pretty sure he ate most of them, but there's still one little guy left. Damn. That's a shame. Yeah, they're definitely down there. I don't know what's so, more of a shame that they have to the eat roaches so that the roaches got eaten. To make a deal. Where is Karai? <laughs> you the one who had built that damn contraption. You get the safe. You get the. That is the. I don't make deals. But perhaps this is worth the exception. Give me Karai. And you will leave this city alive. Let her go. And I'll let all of you walk away alive. Say uh -oh. it. Say Time it, is Leo. real, baby. Shoot. Back off, this man. Oh, shit. <laughs> you should have kept going, Mikey. Right. Shit. You are Almost had it. We're just getting started. Attack vicious snake woman. <laughs> Attack vicious snake woman. <laughs> they would have got the two black people fighting. Get it? Oh uh, yeah. You talk too much. I'm not saying a lot coming to me. <laughs> Man, it's natural. I just love that he's been doing Michael Jackson this entire time. Right. Not no more. That's better. Come on, Leo. This is what we've been Can't fighting this, for. Leo. You're working up to this moment, man. Hell yeah. Oh. There we go. Karai. Mm. Karai, you have to go. Hurry, don't let them take you. Comet. Comet. Comet? What does that mean? No! My daughter! She's not your daughter! I raised her, cared for her. She's mine! Barely, you put her in a cage. Right. Someone must pay for this. Take them to Stockman's laboratory. 
Oh shit. I think wow. we know what's coming. Yeah. What it's like I knew for sure who the black guy was going to be, but I think I know who Mr. Rusher is going to be too. Give me a clue where she is, though. She pointed east and said Comet. Comet cleaners. Did they make her walk the plank? Oh, yeah. Some excellent DNA to this yeah. last week. Don't you agree? <laughs> I wouldn't want to be a warthog. <laughs> a warthog. <laughs> so they got to replace y'all bitch asses, though. We are the OGs up in this house. I don't want to be a mutant. I'm too handsome. The ladies love me. I love this guy. <laughs> I do, too. Hunted my daughter. Your fates are sealed. No, no. Shut the Tell them wrong, It is ten years. It's me, baby. Deck is first for stealing the Kuro Kabuto. Oh, God. So he's gonna be the runoff? Can we talk about this shit? Yeah. No, he's gonna be the warthog. That's what I thought. They was telling the other dude he was gonna be the warthog. Or shit. No, that dude's gonna be the rhino. That's what I thought. <laughs> dude, it just looks so painful. Is he gonna be fat? It's like Bebop is supposed to be the fat one. Sheesh. Oh no! Look at me! I'm the dang one hole! <laughs> and now, Ivan Steranko, my old friend. Your animal is apropos. Let us become reasonable. I am more useful to you as normal guy. Talk to him, Ivo. Not really. Unfortunately, Mattel needs to sell toys. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, you're more useful to him as a mutant. Yeah, you can just hear their bones cracking. And yeah, shit. it's like their bones are kind of starting Reforming. to relocate yeah. and form and shit. Shit. Don't feel so well. Oh, yes. Look at me. Wow. They turned us into freaks! <laughs> they look like themselves, though. I say that. They look hey, ugly. they look cool, man. I like that design for them. I, I'm, oh, I'm digging the take on these guys, man. Bebop and Rocksteady have officially made their debut, and hey, I'm digging it because they're already capable fighters. We already seen that. Yeah, they are. So they're not. I mean, I was gonna say they're not bumbling idiots, but I mean, <laughs> I mean they, they kind of <laughs> on that smart. level, but they're not as bad as uh my man um. Chris Bradford and Zephyr, you know, because yeah, they don't get along at all. They don't get along at all. At least they were kind of already working together before. Right. Maybe not the best duo, but not the worst. Mm -hmm. Um, I give this episode an S, as I already said. Oh, yeah, I'll give it an S, too, man. Like, yeah. I really love this, you know. Like, Karai, she seems like she knows something about this Cosmo or Comet. Comet. She's going to somewhere called Comet, and they're going to find her. Um, I'm glad she still had a little bit of her right mind left. Yeah. Seemed like so that's good. Um mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it we seems like Rocksteady there they made their debut in this. Oh yeah, it's like it's becoming like oh, a little cluttered with all the different henchmen that Shredder has at his disposal. Yeah, you got the cat, you got Zebra, you got Chris Bradford, now you got Bebop and Rocksteady and then all of the crane droid foot soldiers. Right. So yeah. It's like everybody around the Shredder has lost their humanity. Oh, then you got uh, Buzz Buzz. Right, that's what I mean. It's like everybody else is a mutant. The only one who hasn't been mutated is Shredder. So some tell me he going to get his mutation eventually. I can't wait. I, hope, I he hope, gets, hope he gets it. I hope he gets mutated into a damn shrimp or some <laughs> little puny animal, a damn hermit crab. Uh, some sort of fucking... He going to get turned into a A roach, knife. a termite... An ant, I don't care what it is. Yeah, it's something gonna be something. Cutie. He deserves it, hell. He's he do. He do. So, yeah. Yeah, that. Oh, why is that against an S? Anyway, 
yeah um but that's gonna do it for us today guys we hope you enjoyed these reactions because as always you have a blast reacting to them with you and for you if there's anything that we may have missed or got misconstrued or if you just want to let us know about the episode and what you liked about it do you enjoy these takes of bebop and rocksteady because i already knew i liked these guys but i got a feeling i'm gonna like them a lot more now that they've tapped yeah. into their animalistic nature I, I loved how he was doing michael jackson that whole time we are like huge michael jackson fans right that whole thing was just so funny to see so yeah nigga use his body as his weapon <laughs> <laughs> but yeah guys uh, this is your boy RBG aka the random black gamer my lovely white Janet Lee on the ones and twos we ain't seen any reactions we'll catch you guys on the next reaction too TMNT 2012 peace